one click is all it takes to lose everything. We are in a cyber war. You can either be a defendant or you could be a victim. We are in a new form of a cyber cold war. We have countries breaking into other countries, deploying weapons, having the ability to control critical infrastructure, but nobody seems to care because it's not physical and no lives have been lost yet. I go back and compare to the Cuban Missile Crisis where Russia was going to deploy physical nuclear weapons off the coast of the United States in Cuba. And I mean, people went crazy. I mean, this was all over the news. I mean, this, this could have been the next world war and or the end of the war, sorry, the end of the world because of these nuclear weapons that Russia was gonna deploy. Yet today, Russia and the United States are deploying cyber nuclear weapons. Do you realize that somebody can build a piece of malware that could take over air traffic control and crash airplanes? They could take over the water supply and kill thousands of people by poisoning the water. They can go in and take over nuclear power plants or critical infrastructure and shut down electricity for an entire part of the country. This is not science fiction, this is a reality. Yet for some reason, because it's software, because it's cyber, people don't seem to care. People don't seem to care that the Russians are in our utility network. People don't seem to care that North Korea is building cyber nuclear weapons that can cause devastation for entire parts of the country because it's not something we really understand. And I'll tell you, these are the things that I worry about and that I'm concerned with is we are entering this new Cold War era. We're having different countries deploy nuclear weapons off the coast of the United States and in some cases in the United States and nobody is aware, nobody cares and nobody's doing anything about it. And that's why I'm on a mission to raise awareness. That's why I'm creating a lot of these videos to help raise your awareness, not to scare you, but to raise your awareness that everything today is controlled by computers. Cars, planes, utility, nuclear power plants, our health, our water is all controlled by computers. So if somebody can build a piece of code that can take down or impact those computers, it can cause as much devastation as a weapon. It can cause as much devastation as a bomb and it can cause as much loss of life as a nuclear weapon. But for some reason, we don't seem to care because it's invisible, it's not physical, it's not tangible, and it's not something we understand. But if we want to survive as a country, if we want to survive as a world, we need to start recognize the devastating impact that cyber weapons can have on society. And we need to start passing regulation, taking it more seriously, and addressing the issue. But once again, it just boggles my mind that you have Congress that's meant to pass laws and protect this country. They are more concerned about manipulated search results than they are about keeping our country safe from cyber weapons. We need to change how we think about the problem. We as citizens need to start demanding answers and those in Washington DC need to step it up and focus on real problems that matter and stop messing around with this bipartisan crap where they're fighting with each other and start looking at the future and what they need to do to keep our citizens and our nation safe because cyber security weapons are a real threat and if we don't address it, it's gonna be too little, too late.